So someone asked about cytotoxic lesions of the corpus callosum. And as you know, the corpus callosum is this huge connecting band that connects the two hemispheres. It has a rostrum, a body, and a genu, the bending part, and the splenium of the corpus callosum. So when we're looking at imaging studies, the corpus callosum in the connecting the two occipital lobes, this is the splenium of the corpus callosum. And so when you have a lesion in the corpus callosum that is cytotoxic, that has a differential diagnosis, and it's called a clock, cytotoxic lesion of corpus callosum, the clock lesion, broad differential diagnosis, toxic metabolic conditions, ischemia, including reversible ischemia, metabolic derangements like diabetic ketoacidosis, infectious etiologies. It really doesn't tell you what it is. It just tells you that broadly, something is affecting a highly metabolically active uh, connecting band here. And the lesion can be focal like this, or it can extend to involve the entire splenium of the corpus callosum. And one of the things that's interesting about these lesions is we can tell if it's cytotoxic edema using diffusion weighted imaging. So in edema on MRI, we're going to be seeing that as T2 hyperintensity, but that T2 hyperintensity does not tell us whether this is vasogenic edema or cytotoxic edema. So vasogenic edema is genic genesis from the vessel. So it's just too much water. The edema is from breakdown of the blood-brain barrier, more water comes out, but the water that has come out is not restricted in its movement. And therefore, the diffusion-weighted imaging will be negative. It will not show restricted diffusion if it's just leaky blood vessels. That will be bright on T2, but it will be negative for restricted diffusion on DWI. In contrast, a cytotoxic lesion is cyto, Toxic. It's toxic to the cell. And so the cells all swell up and you, your water can't move now because the, swell, the cells are all swollen up. So this type of edema is also edema, but because you have cytotoxic edema, it restricts the movement of the water and therefore the diffusion weighted imaging will be bright and the ADC will be dark. So you have to have both the DWI and the ADC to differentiate vasogenic from cytotoxic edema. If it is restricted diffusion and in the splenium of the corpus callosum, that is called a cytotoxic lesion of the corpus callosum, the clock lesion. And that means you have to go explore the entire extensive differential diagnosis, focusing on toxic, metabolic, um, ischemic, and sometimes that ischemia is the result of hypertension or drugs, and so you have to have a wide base differential when approaching the clock lesion.